Hello everybody, welcome to Chris and Matt on Movies. My name is Matt and today we're going to be talking about the best and worst of Mel Gibson. We're talking about his directing and we're talking about his acting because he has a movie coming out this weekend called Hacksaw Ridge. And I'm going to start out with listing his best and worst. My honorable mentions is Lethal Weapon 2, it's Apocalypto, it's Passion of the Christ, and I'm going to give his performance in Expendables 3 also a nod as one of his best things he has done. And the new recent uh, Bloodfather. I'll put that as a possible movie. He's incredible in that movie too. But for me, the best movie he is in or directed is Braveheart. Go back to England and tell them there that Scotland's daughters and her sons are yours no more. The rebellion has begun. And who? William Wallace. Now, Braveheart, I don't think anybody will disagree. It's one of the greatest movies ever made, period. Easily. Top five, maybe top three of all time. This is a movie. If you have not really gotten to film before, or if you know someone who has not gotten to film before, sit the person down who is not into movies, or sit your butt down if you're not into movies, and watch Braveheart, because that movie is absolutely incredible. It will be known as one of the greatest movies ever. Mel Gibson is absolutely staggering in this role. Um, the action's incredible, and the amount of gore and stuff is used about as perfect as you could use it. It is gory, but it's not too gory. And of course, has one of the more famous endings to a movie, and one of the last you know lines ever spoken by a character in a movie ever made, uh, ever in any movie. So for me, that is going to be my best. And since Chris is probably going to also choose Braveheart, I'm going to go with um, as my uh, next on the best list. Um, I'm going to go with Lethal Weapon. You ever met anybody you didn't kill? Well, I haven't killed you yet. I think Lethal Weapon is one of the great action movies. Um, it's the amount of humor you need in an action movie, if you even need any humor. Um, it's not too much. Um, the performances by Danny Glover and um, Mel Gibson are fantastic in the movie. So I'm going to give Lethal Weapon that shot. Now, for me, with worst, um, for me, I think there's only one worst, and that's going to be uh, Lethal Weapon 4. They just bounced right off, and we're in trouble, man! What we're gonna do? Take your clothes off. What the hell for? Lethal Weapon 4 is one of the worst action movies ever made. Um, and that's a shame because, uh, you know, I'm not gonna blame it on Mel Gibson or Danny Glover, but that movie's not good. So if you have an action movie, and this is to go for anything, if you have an action movie, and you're in your third or your fourth movie in the whole uh, franchise, and you cast Chris Rock in the movie, you know it's not going to be good. You know it's going to rely too much on humor. So that's my pick. So we're going to kick it off to Chris, and then I'm going to send you guys off on your great day. So Chris, take it away. Magic dust. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the best and worst of Mel Gibson. He has a new film, Hacksaw Ridge, coming up this Friday. You just saw Matt's... Um... Let me fix that. You just saw Max's... Why did you say that, Dad? list for his best and worst now i'm gonna give you my my best obviously is braveheart and i will say that because braveheart isn't my top five of all time i love this movie it's i'm scottish i'm part scottish so a lot of it is very cultural in my life it's such an iconic film and such a great moving film especially for independent being freedom and stuff like that the but we are also going to talk about another film that you have besides that that is another mel gibson because we both chose braveheart and I'm going to go with the road warrior. To do the job, I need some high octane gasoline. Got yourself a deal. You can run, but you can't hide. You're going to crash or crash through. Now, this is Mad Max 2. It's a really great film. It's even better than this, the first one, which I thought the first one was so great, and it's hard to top that. But the road warrior did that. It's a fantastic film. If you have not seen it, there you go. My worst. Now, he has done some not-so-great movies. Um... Passion of the Christ is a good one. I have not seen Apocalypto, so I would go for the worst. I would go What Woman Wants. Nick Marshall thought he was God's gift to women. Cappuccino extra foam. Tell her grande. Grande, or at least I'd like to think so. Next. But he's about to discover. <laughs> 
what women think. And that is only because it's just I remember seeing it and I don't remember much of it. He doesn't have a lot of worse movies, but that's my list. All right, guys. We'll put you, thank you guys so much for watching. Another honorable mention I would say is We Are Soldiers. is a very good film. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Matt, back to you. So you just let, heard Chris say his best and worst. Um, I do love War Road Warrior. I completely forgot to throw that on uh, my best list as well or honorable mentions. Um, that's a great movie. And What Women Want, I've never seen. So, um, you know, props to you. So um, that's going to do it for us today, guys. If you want... You can like this video, you can subscribe if you're interested in finding out more about movies according to our heads, and you can also comment below, let us know what your best and what your worst of Mel Gibson is. Also, you can also subscribe if you want to see gaming videos. I will be playing games every, about every night for um, the channel, and also on uh, Twitch, I will be doing a 24-hour um, live stream. I plan on doing it tomorrow, but we may have to push it off to uh, the following week. Um, I do plan on doing a charity one eventually. This is not going to be it just because I really haven't planned it out. I would like to kind of plan out what charity I want to do and I want to kind of make sure we kind of got a little audience going. I just noticed we're at 18 subs right now so that's incredible. Um, so I'm going to wait till it gets maybe to 100 before we actually do charity events. Um, you know, so if we ever break big on here, I think one thing we should definitely do is uh, charity. Um, we should raise money and donate it to uh, very, very, very worthy causes. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.